I think maybe it was bigger than what the people expected it to be. It turned out to be on a much bigger mm -hmm. scale than what they expected it to be. We were literally yeah. swamped. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was hardly a house. If you had a biggish house, we were used to make fun. Take care that you don't have squatters when you go home tonight. That was the mm -hmm. extent of the desperation for accommodation at one stage. We had a, an old Christian literature book van which went off the road and four Irishmen bought it and they used it as sleeping accommodation. Absolutely. And um, regarding the problem of drink, one day, one Sabbath afternoon, there were three men fighting up here and one man was lying on the ground while the other man was kicking him. And I went up complete with my collar and I said to him, <coughs> excuse me, you'll kill that fellow if you don't stop. He says, that's exactly what I want to do, Father, he said. <coughs> and not being a father. <laughs> Was this kind of thing quite different from anything that had gone on before then, this kind of social attitude? That's not to say local men did not drink. Very, very different. Do you look forward to it starting up? With mixed feelings, to be quite frank. The, uh, as Mr. Ross here says, we'll be very pleased to see people getting work. But we know the problems that we have already had, and we're expecting to face the same again. Do you think an area that has never had it, but thinks maybe this would be a good way to improve the community, lead to development of the community, would be wise to go out and try and get it? Not to the extent that we have, it, have had it. The other thing is, if it's only a three-year thing, it's, it tends to leave desolation after it. We have about 40 empty houses at the end of the village. We have people who began aiming at this kind of work and they're trying to accommodate the influx of people and they've lost rather badly on it. And I really think that for a community like ours, what we require is smaller industry and an industry that's going to continue. But that's very difficult to obtain. We tried out for development for many, many years. The island problem, something we lived with. That's the problem of depopulation, people leaving. And uh, we tried for many generations to do something about it. And we always had this exodus of our cream going away. Uh, so, of course, when this did arrive, it was the only thing that we then, as I said already, it wasn't what we would have opted for. It was too big entirely at the keeping with the character and uh, nature of the area, but still we had to take it. And uh, I would certainly say, if, uh, if you have any alternative to it, well, that would be better. You've got to pick the alternatives, but if not, then you've got to espouse this as best you can. I suppose it just had to come, but... Uh, and it has given work to people, local people, brought them back, those that had left home and gone elsewhere, just brought them back to the place. But... Um, at the same time, I don't like to see so much change round about. I was born and brought up in Kishon, and the whole atmosphere of the place has changed over the last few years. It may have altered it while the people were there, but I think since uh, the, the people left Kishon, Loch Carran has gone back more or less to what it was previously. I mean, it reverted back very quickly, I think, to just what it was before. That's a problem in its own right, isn't it? It seems as if people who maybe came in now are left unemployed. Well, the, uh, some of them have been unemployed. 
but they seem to have been happy to be unemployed, hoping that there could be another platform to be built at Kishon and sort of hanging on until the, the spring in 79 when they thought there was uh, another order coming out. And then uh, last year, last winter, they were making a new road through Loch Car and widening the road. So some of those locals who had been working at Kishorn and lost their jobs there went, were able to get a job there. You get some sense of feeling that people are just kind of waiting for the next big ship to yes, come in. Yes, yes, well, true. There has been this feeling all winter that people have been waiting for the next order. And I think if, if there isn't a big order for Kishon. There's going to be an awful Arctic climax, sort of, and I, I just don't know what people are going to do. They will have to go away. The men will have to go away to work because there just will not be any work for them in this area. So that the problem would appear is not so much the work itself as the uncertainties that go with it. Yeah, yes. Yes, and you see, when, when this uh, job came to Kishon first, uh, we were told it was going to be 10 to 15 years, whereas, in fact, it only lasted about two years. And uh, some people may not have um, given up the jobs they had uh, in the south and come here if they had realized it was going to be such a short-term project as it turned out to be. Generally speaking, they're looking forward to the work beginning again. Do you think that's true generally of the community? There will be a, a sort of a, an uplift if things get going again? Yes, even the people who are of the same view as I am of would like to see uh, people employed. It's very important that they would be employed. And if Howard Doris or whatever firm would keep to their what they see, we'd be very delighted to have them working in the area. That's the catch. That's the catch. Do you look forward to it starting up? With mixed feelings, to be quite frank. As Mr. Ross here says, we'll be very pleased to see people getting work. But we know the problems that we have already had, and we're expecting to face the same again. Do you think an area that has never had it, but thinks maybe this would be a good way to improve the community, lead to development of the community, would be wise to go out and try and get it? Not to the extent that we have, it, have had it. The other thing is, if it's only a three-year thing, it's, it tends to leave desolation after it. We have about 40 empty houses at the end of the village. We have people who began aiming at this kind of work and they're trying to accommodate the influx of people and they've lost rather badly on it. And I really think that for a community like ours, what we require is smaller industry and an industry that's going to continue. But that's very difficult to obtain.